In today's video, I'm going to be ranking every single Vibrant Adventure character. There's not really much else, let's jump into it. Starting off with Cardinal. Um, <laughs> so a lot of my opinions about these characters are going to be a bit subjective because I'm a speedrunner. But overall, I think Cardinal's fine. Within speedrunning especially, Cardinal allows you to get to the floor faster and do double jump. And that's kind of all he is. If you want to break blocks, you may as well use Azora. So I think honestly, Cardinal is a great B. Like he is smack dab in the center. He's not too high, not too low. He is our borderline average. Moving up next, we have Azora. I think that Azora is one of my favorites in the game. I think she is, she's real fun. Her sprites are definitely the most expressive in my opinion, where she's like kind of klutzy and doesn't want to fall over and stuff. So I'm I actually kind of like her. I don't, is she S? She might be S. I kind of like what she has with Banana. I think it's cute. And you know what? You can't stop me. I'm putting her in S. Oh, I forgot Juno. Oh, Juno push should have a giant on a tree. I'm sure you got it. Actually, I'm going to make that suggestion right now. <laughs> oh, I did it. Isn't that cool? Anyway, let's get back to the video. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was here. Okay. We're two characters in and this is already a 20 minute recording. Okay. Pistachio, I... <sighs> mm. So, as a character, Pistachio annoys me to no end. She doesn't have any vertical, like, movement. Like, you can't switch into her to get an extra jump or... Even Azora can go higher with the dash. But she like carries momentum now. If this was when you could even vine stab on the floor to like carry on momentum, if this was before that, I would actually despise it. I think it would be real bad. So that saves her from being an F. She used to be an F. She's moved it to a C. Still prefer green to the spike. Outside of that, we obviously got banana. And I am gonna rank them in the tiers. And bananas, of course, over Azora. Banana's my favorite character. He's actually the GOAT. He's carried me from dying so many times, it's hard to count. Yeah, he deserves that. Next up, we have the enemies for the game. Starting off with a Leafy. Now, Leafies are... They don't really get in my way a lot. They kind of do their own thing, and usually I hop on them to continue my momentum. So, overall, for me, they're pretty good. <laughs> like, I don't really bump myself into them at all, or have any problems with them. So, honestly, yeah, it's a kind of a G... A. Seedles are almost similar in that respect, where like they are, they're fine, like <laughs> they run around, I usually dodge them, but there has been a couple of times when they have killed me. They've definitely killed me more than Leafy's, and for that, and also they're quite quick, for that I'm going to give them a B, but like they're okay. I think Cardinal is better than a Seedal, but I don't think I like Seedles, I don't think I like Pistachio more than a Seedle. This is the Bracken, or the Brachin? Oh, the bray this word on screen. They are weird. They float around and I hop on them. <laughs> but overall, they're okay. Like, I don't really get hit by them a lot, I don't think. I don't think I like them more than pistachio. So honestly, I think we have a new C. Like, they're not that good, but they're fine. Like, they I can hop on them, I guess. This is the uh this is the flathead bopper. What is your name? Let me find it. So these are the bramble boppers. And they kind of just like grow out when I'm trying to do stuff. They're fine. I think I like them more than pistachio. But I feel like I've died to them more than a leafy. So they're kind of in between B and C here. And I kind of think they're like a top of C. Like I prefer them more than pistachio. Because pistachio kind of sucks as a character you know if she if her glide yeah gave her like a little boost of air or something like, like a little kick up or something she'd be worth it but no she, like, bro she ain't worth it <laughs> and then this is the flathead bopper these are fine usually like i i don't really mind them they don't really get in my way a lot the most annoying thing is this very one specific skip in 1-2 where you're supposed to slide off of the bramble head bopper you're converting your momentum down into momentum sideways and you have to slide on the bramble hopper not immediately when you hit it but like 0.2 seconds afterwards so you can get like the most optimal position and that's screwed me over a couple of times so honestly i think they do more good than bad to me but i think they're above these guys Bobble breaking, bramble break, bramble bopper. Um, so honestly, I think I could be not, not one of the Cedar because Cedar's kind of like do their own thing. Cedar kind of just chill. Uh, yeah. Next up, we got the Grombat. 
they have grown on me a lot. Like, they used to screw me over a lot in my older runs, but now that I'm better, that I just use them to like carry on my momentum. I, I Zora dashed them a lot so I can like get wherever I need to go. Honestly, I I kind of dig them. I might even put them above Leafy's. I think that they're just real chill guys. Honestly, they're just they're real nice. Next up, we got the spruce. <laughs> Next up, we got the spruce room, and these guys suck. I hate them. Their attack goes way too far, and I hate it. It it snipes me from like across the level half the time and it's really dumb i'm glad that their little attack goes away when you kill them that's like the only good thing really but outside of that they suck they're they're real bad you get nothing good from these guys <laughs> um but honestly an f i've died to these guys way too many times madeline here is cute at start she was uh you know your little pig spew room you know i so uh fun guys don't actually have genders but i think she's a girl I'm not entirely sure, but my name's Madeline. I don't know how you learn how how, how her name's Madeline. I don't think like a uh, I don't think Violation tells you that. I think you just kind of quote infer it. But yeah, it's weird that she has a whole level in one dash four, even when she's not the boss. Like her Deadwood Delve, I think it is called, is named after this random pink spushroom. She might be the queen, honestly. Like she might be Queen Spushroom or something. And then Valastro killed the queen or something. And canonically she dies in her journal entry. Because what they say is that we had no choice but to defend ourselves. Or something like that. And so she dead. Like we, like they straight up say we had no choice but to kill her. Like that's literally what they're saying. Which is crazy. For me at least. <laughs> um, Madeline is pretty cool. I like her. Um, she's cute. She's nice. Uh, well, she doesn't attack you at the start, and then obviously Valastro uses the crystal. Overall, I think she's really easy to beat. I can beat her with like one character, Banana, of course. Um, <laughs> but honestly, I think she might be like a top of A. I think I like her more than a Grumbat. She kind of like at the start, she's very chill, and I I would like to know more about that the little pink shroom, but we don't really get much help. My guess is that she's the queen. Or well, it's going to be my head cannon that she's the queen or something. Because I generally have no idea why she doesn't attack you. But yeah, I think she's chill. Next up, we have a um a real depressing one. So, <laughs> Blobby here ruins 9 out of 10 times I do a 90%. I have done so many runs where a Floppy has killed me and I hate them. They, sorry, they kill me. <laughs> I despise them so much. The amount of times I've died to them is actually abysmal, and I despise them and I hate them for it. Like it's the worst. I generally, they are so bad. They they generally suck. I know a question the floppy might have a go at me for this, but they're F. they're the worst character in the game. I can tell you this right now. If you want to figure out who the worst was, it's the floppy. Because floppies kill me, and the thing is that they're not trying to kill me. What I hate, I know I put the leafy up here. That's because they they don't really do anything. The floppy jumps and it jumps in your way and i know that like they're not they're technically peaceful and trying and not really trying to kill me but i hate them for breathing like i, I generally do not like them um they suck <laughs> so the thing is it's not like it's just a fish yeah and like it's not trying to hurt you but god does it suck i actually despise it <laughs> like it's so bad Next up, we got the Claw Man. I love how they have female and male variants. I generally think it's super interesting, like how the male has the two to the side, where the female has them up. That's super creative and fun. I actually really like that. What do I think about them in general? They're alright. Um, the female kills me a lot more than the male, just because I'm not paying attention. And I'm when you're speedrunning, you're usually not on the ground, and you're in the air, and you're trying to do stuff, and you die. <laughs> but in this list. They're kind of C tier. Like I, I don't think I like them as much as Pistachio, but I do think I like them more than the Brecken. The break the, this thing. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is fair. Where these guys kind of kill me a little bit. These guys kind of kill me a little bit. But I feel like these guys probably kill me more. So this isn't based on just how much they kill me. It's based on how much I like them. But like, because I'm a speedrunner, death means a lot. Next up, we got the big beat the platforms. And I like that you. it's an enemy where you Azura dash onto them, but they don't die. I think that's really creative. 
but like this kind of like squawking go like wow overall for me i think they're pretty cool the, the platforms for me i i think they're female and male versions where some will like move and some won't and you can tell from their color i forget which one's which but they're all right i probably like them more than a grumbat to be honest no so the thing is that, like the grumbat is an enemy these guys are just platforms but they sing like realistically which is kind of where the flathead bopper is so i think like a position in between these two is fair i think i don't like them more than cardinal but i like them more than a seedle i think that is a good ranking but i do think grumbats are more because they're an enemy i think it's more fun even though they kill me now the gun floppy is i like him <laughs> So he's breaking on the shack, but like it really doesn't mean anything. You can just kind of do it. And also, so they only show up in one in two dash two, sorry. And they're so chill, honestly. Um, I don't really see them a lot because I'm speedrunning and they're in my desk. But like, <laughs> I don't even think like I've had anything bad with them. They're pretty chill. Then for that, I'm also I'm down to give them like an A. More than Madeline here. I think like even in like one of my first playthroughs, they only bother me all that much because I whenever I'm playing a platformer, my intention is to try and go quick. I don't really care about stopping for gems and stuff. But I can totally see if you like stop the gems and you're know, like a collector kind of player, how the gun floppy is not your cup of tea at all. Next up we got the Poker Prey. Hmm. Okay. So these guys ruin me over a lot. They charge at me, they usually die, and they're in two just three. So two just three is my least favorite level. Eh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do like a levels thing someday because I do want to share my opinions more. So, but I don't really get anything from them is the thing. Like I, not only do I suck at this level, I don't gain anything. Like I don't, like I can mind stab on them, but like I don't really go anywhere and they die when they crash into things. But other than that, they're kind of an F. I don't think I hate them more than a spush room. Spush rooms annoy me way more. But honestly, I'm... I like them more than the Bracken. <laughs> the chill guys. Next up we got the Centiel, which are I think I like them a lot more than the Pocket Price. Because they there's like a platform but underwater. And I think their little spot mechanic is like unique and fun. But overall I think they're fine. Like they're they're cool, I guess. <laughs> there's not really much to it. They're just okay. But I'm trying to think of where to put them. <laughs> I don't think I like them more than Honestly, kind of like in between the break in, but not higher than the Quillmat. I think that's fair. I don't mind them as a thing like that. Okay. We got the Jester Shrimp. I actually love Jester Shrimp. They come in two variants. I don't know if all the variants are male and female. I assume that they are. Because I know these guys are, but I don't know if they are as well. Honestly, they're fun. They let you do some fun skips that I'm not very good at, but seeing like a question the floppies passes, uh, they go hard. They're very cool. Um, I like them that much though. I kind of just like usually cardinal on their balls. <laughs> balls on that. Uh, on their shells. Um, and kind of just like go like bounce across them usually. But other than that, they're just kind of mid. <laughs> uh, but I like them. I kind of want to rank them higher than like the. I want to say I like them more than. Maybe even more than a leafy. Oh my god. Yeah. So. Bastrobot. I like the fact that he's kind of like, he's almost like Valastro, but a little bit more goofy. Like, he gets out, like, tennis balls and stuff, like, <laughs> and he does a little dance. I find it interesting how, like, the lore or whatever between uh, him and Valastro, uh, like, the, in the description, is like, Valastro, but was Valastro's, like, only friend or something. I like that. I think that's fun and cute. I think I want to place him, I think placing him, like, near here. Cause these are kind of the bosses already and i like these guys and i like him so i think oh. okay just because i know for a fact he's killed me more than a grumbat i'm gonna place him there i know this is very biased but god is he annoying i might even move a leafy i'm gonna move leafy down to b i think i was i was placing leafy's a little bit too hard i'm gonna move him down especially because there's another variant of them in the game that is basically the exact same so rockley it's a leafy, but overall, they're fine. A lot of these are Valastro, like Valastro goons, for lack of a lack of that word. But they kind of work for him. And honestly, I think that a Rockly is slightly worse than a leafy. I've definitely died to a Rockly more than an actual leafy. 
because they get back up and probably stab me in the back. Next up, we got the <laughs> the Maestro, and I hate it because what the Maestro does is it throws cheese at you, and these cheese balls for some reason have like aimbot accuracy and snipe me from three years away. Uh, I've died to them a lot, like a lot, a lot, and I hate them. <laughs> they suck, and that's kind of the point of them. I do like their snazzy sunnies. Honestly, F tier, but where an F? I think I've died to a speedrun more just because I speedrun Ward 1, so I'm fine with placing them there, honestly. But at least each... Okay, well, Ward 2 has two, but, like, each world has its low points. <laughs> and I'll say there's nothing wrong with these guys. Um, they do their purpose really well, is what I'm saying, basically, when I'm complaining. But, yeah. Next up, we have the Conductor. This guy has a mode mill up in runs. Uh, it's... <laughs> I died to him a couple of times, but the problem is, is that with all the bosses in the game, really, you're waiting for them to do something, and then you respond, and then you have to wait for them to do it again. And I, and that's the only real way you can design a boss fight and a platformer. So this isn't a sort about the game; it's about the genre, really. You can't really make like a real time battle fight; like it, it just doesn't work. That being said. The conductor's fight is real dull, like you're just waiting for him to run out of breath and then you attack him. And that's it. That, that is... Well, you hit him on the head, you hit him on the head again, then you get spike helmet, and then you have to wait for him to run out of breath and you kill him. That's literally it. It sucks, but that's kind of how it is. I don't think he deserves an A, to be real. Just for the fact that I find his boss fight the, the most dull. Madeline and Valash Robot, I'm engaged, I'm like here. The conductor, I'm just running up the wall, waiting for him to stop attacking. And that being said, I don't think he's that bad. <laughs> he is interesting. I like the implication that he's like Valastro's friend, or like only real friend. Real friend, you know, Valastro, but not really counting here. I think I like him just below Cardinal, I'm, the, I'm saying. So, yeah, this feels right. Where he is... I can use big birds of platforms, but I don't really... The reason why I like a lot of the things is for various different reasons, and the conductor has to just go B. He's kind of average. He's actually, like I think, in like the center of everything, which is very fair. Like, I don't hate him, but I don't like him. Yeah. The mullet. Sucks. These guys kill me a lot, and they're difficult to kill, and... Like, they have, like, a... You have to, like, stun them, and then you attack them. It's... it's like, I hate it. So they're definitely C. I don't think I like them more than... Yeah, yeah, definitely around C, like where these annoying kind of enemies are. I reckon below Pistachio. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe even lower. I feel like I died to him more than I died to a Cormad. Yeah, I think like bottom of C. I think that's fair. Where he's... Because I, I definitely hate this, these uh, Pocket Preys more. But yeah, they're kind of just annoying. Not as annoying as these guys though, these guys are the worst. <laughs> lastly, but so not lastly, we had the Sir Stomps a lot. And Sir Stomps a lot, before the change, where they had delay, sucked. I hate them a lot, they got in my way a lot, they, I didn't, nothing. But now they have a slight bit of delay, and I kinda dig it, like they, they're now chill. They still kill me a bit, but overall they're so much better. They're worse at their job, but that makes it better for me. If that makes sense. But yeah. I reckon we... Dude, it's kind of weird. They're kind of a reverse flat head bopper. I was really a flat head bopper, but it crushes you. And I don't mind these guys. Like, these guys... B tier is kind of like the I don't really mind you. And with the change, he kind of fits in here. But he still kills me a bit. So I reckon C. But like a high C. Like a... Ooh, Okay. I reckon that do I like him more than Mustache? Kinda. He's kind of fun. I like his name, but I don't really like him more than uh, the Bramble. I reckon they're, they're kind of the goat. And this is my tier list. I'm very proud of it. I think it's very definitive. You can actually do this tier list for yourself. It will be first link in the description. Have fun with it. I think you can upload them. Yeah, like a voting poll or something. I'm not. There's not very much I can really add. <laughs> this recording is almost an hour because I just kept rambling and I'm going to trim it all. 
But yeah, I'm very proud of my ranking. I think it's very definitive. Fight me in the comments. Fight me uh, if you can upload your own. I don't know how to do it. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.